Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, thank you so much for being patient with me. Over the past few months, I haven't uploaded any videos and I made a post in my community tab about this, but long story short, over the past few months, I've just been gearing up for a career change and I will make another couple videos talking about my experiences in interviewing and going from a startup to a much, much larger tech company. But in this video, I wanted to talk about the metaverse and some jobs and skills that I think will be really hot in the coming years because of the development of the metaverse. So let's get into the video. So you may have heard the term metaverse thrown around a lot over the past several months, and it's difficult to explain exactly what it is because it doesn't really exist yet, but it's based on an idea conceived by Neil Stevenson in his science fiction novel, Snow Crash, which came out decades ago in 1992. And Snow Crash is about this futuristic 21st century world, and it paints a pretty grim picture of the future where the economy of the world has collapsed, society is shifting from living in the physical world to living in a digital world that is full of virtual immersive experiences. And the internet essentially becomes the world and humans are always online and all of their experiences, their social interactions, work, relationships, all of it takes place in the metaverse. So you can think of it as a virtual universe or a network really of virtual spaces. In fact, if you've ever played Fortnite, you can think of that game as what the beginnings of the metaverse may look like. In Fortnite, you have a virtual avatar and you can spend real money to customize it. And while there are modes for battling other people or for running around and building things, it's more than just a video game. You can hang out with other people, attend concerts even, and essentially treat it like a social space. And this might be our first introduction to the metaverse or to an understanding of what it could look like. Some people have referred to it as the internet in 3D, if that helps you visualize it. And what's really important to understand is that no one person or one company controls it. Not Meta, not Mark Zuckerberg, it's completely decentralized. Now, even though the metaverse does not really exist yet, companies have already started hiring people to work on metaverse related projects. And with Mark Zuckerberg estimating that it will take five to 10 years before it becomes mainstream, if you're a software engineer or an aspiring software engineer wanting to work on the metaverse, now is the perfect time to start thinking about building out your technical skill set to prepare for the increasing demand for metaverse engineers. In this video, I want to discuss some less conventional jobs you can consider if you want to be prepared for working on the metaverse, as well as some technical skills you'll want to develop. First, the jobs. I picked three jobs that I don't really consider hot jobs for software engineers right now, but I think will become hot because of the metaverse. For example, artificial intelligence and machine learning engineering jobs, I expect to continue to be hot when the metaverse is mainstream, so I didn't include them on this list. So here are three currently unconventional jobs for software engineers who want to work on the metaverse. The first job I have on my list is AR slash VR software engineer. Augmented reality and virtual reality are both emerging technologies. AR and VR engineers are traditionally thought to be the designers and developers of AR and VR prototypes. And when you think of AR and VR jobs, you might immediately think of video games and the gaming industry, but there are so many uses of AR and VR outside of video games and entertainment. For example, VR applications can provide simulated environments and models to help medical students get realistic hands-on practice in doing medical procedures. In the space of medical education, an application of AR could be some projection of information over physical bodies in the real world. So if you're in class or in the clinic and people are talking about pain radiating from a particular muscle, the exact location of that pain could easily be visualized with augmented reality. So AR could very easily help in the area of medical education. 
AR and VR could revolutionize education altogether and will likely have huge impacts in retail, real estate, sports, and even space exploration and advertising, just to name a few industries that may be hiring a lot of VR and AR engineers in the coming years. Next are game designers and engineers. These will be the people designing these virtual spaces within the metaverse and how they'll work. They'll help figure out how we can scale all of the virtual spaces to support the number of people they'll need to be able to support. Online multiplayer games, for instance, have to strategically allocate resources across servers, so transmission of vast amounts of data remotely doesn't stall the game or cause it to slow down to a crawl. They'll also have to figure out how to make everything in the metaverse interoperable, meaning avatars, items, and other assets need to work anywhere in the metaverse. And you shouldn't be able to say, like, these things will only work on these platforms or on mobile. It all has to work together seamlessly. And game designers and game engineers will play a crucial role in setting up the metaverse. Lastly, I've got blockchain developers and engineers. Blockchain, very, very briefly, is a digital ledger that is distributed or shared across a network of computers, contains a growing list of records or blocks of transactions that are recorded using cryptography, and is very, very difficult to hack. Blockchain technology offers enhanced security and instant traceability. It's also very efficient, so transactions can happen very quickly, and there's no extra overhead in paperwork, and there's no room for human errors in executing or verifying these transactions. Blockchain engineers build blockchains, or these digital ledgers, to record transactions in these cryptographically secured blocks that are linked together to form the blockchain. Once companies start participating in the metaverse and building their own virtual spaces and enabling users to initiate various transactions, they'll need people to do things like design the blockchain protocols, build the network architecture to handle all of their data, and write the logic to trigger transactions, or as they are called in blockchain terminology, smart contracts, which are basically programs that can automatically execute if certain conditions are met. Proper design, implementation, and maintenance of a company's blockchain network is key to a company being able to operate securely, efficiently, and in a trustworthy way. Next, the skills. Of course, you'll want to develop programming proficiency, but in what language? Game engines are going to play a crucial role in the development of the metaverse, as you might imagine, because we need the software to be able to actually develop these virtual spaces. So proficiency in languages used in these game engines will also become highly sought after skills. Unity, for instance, is an extremely popular platform for developing VR applications, and the main programming language for Unity is c -sharp. If you're a student, you can very easily get a student license, follow along with some of their tutorials, and get started learning game programming in c -sharp that way. Unreal Engine is another very popular game engine and uses C++ as its main programming language. Unreal Engine 4 is available for free for academic use, so if you're a student, you just have to provide your student information and they'll give you a free Unreal subscription. So there are definitely ways to learn game programming and how to use some software that will likely be crucial in developing the metaverse. So if you are already familiar with these interfaces and proficient in C Sharp or C++, you'll have a great start in setting yourself up to be highly sought after by some of these big tech companies. And for blockchain technology, you'll want to know JavaScript, which is one of the most popular languages used in blockchain projects. Solidity is another important one, and Solidity is primarily used to write smart contracts, which I mentioned earlier, and are programs that can automatically execute if certain conditions are met. So these can help trigger transactions in the metaverse, and others that would be great to know are Python and Java, two already very widely used languages, and Clojure, 
is a slightly more obscure language right now, but it's used in blockchain development because of its interoperability with JavaScript. I hope this video gives you an idea of some jobs and skills that could be hot in the coming years because of the development of the metaverse and more people and companies trying to claim their own space in the metaverse as it expands. I mean, I could be wrong about what jobs and skills will be hot because after all, the idea of the metaverse isn't very well defined yet. So I'm just giving my two cents. The tech industry is constantly changing and we as engineers have to change and adapt with it. And sometimes making our best educated guesses about where the industry is going, how it will force us to change and what skills we will have to learn as we adapt is just the best that we can do. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. Of course, stay tuned if you want to hear more about my job hunting process and what it was like going from a startup to a large tech company. I can't wait to share more information on that with you. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, boy.